Hey guys, James here with Waterford Business Solutions, and today I'm going to walk us through one of the most vital parts of your House Call Pro and QuickBooks integration, and that's setting it up in the first place. I've done a ton of videos about correcting errors and how to keep both systems active and everything like that, but I've never done a video on how to actually do the setup in the first place. And so I definitely wanted to go back, take a minute, and record a video to allow you to see this, because the integration is so vital, it saves you so much time in the long run because you're not having to enter, double enter sales information in two different systems. As you input customers, as you finish jobs, as you receive payments in house call, it pushes all that information over into QuickBooks, which is so great. Saves us a ton of time and lets you focus on growing your business rather than managing your company and managing your books. So to do this integration, we're gonna start right here from the dashboard. We're gonna choose My Apps right up here, and then we're gonna choose Go to App Store. What this is gonna do is bring up the App Store or all of the apps that you can theoretically integrate with House Call Pro. We're gonna scroll down just a little bit down to Operations and look for this QuickBooks Online link. This QuickBooks Online, we wanna go ahead and click Get. And it's gonna give us this video talking about the integration, and then it'll also tell you about the plans that it's included on. You can read over this. Um, more than anything, it's helping you to understand how the integration works. But ultimately, we wanna click this connect to QuickBooks option here. And you're either gonna sign up for QuickBooks or you're gonna connect. If you already have QuickBooks online, and this is specifically for QuickBooks Online, go ahead and click this Connect. Now, if you need to sign up for a brand new QuickBooks, go ahead and sign up for a brand new QuickBooks. Most of you will probably come in already having a QuickBooks. So we're gonna click Connect. And it's gonna bring everything up, and then it wants us to go ahead and select our company. Now, give me one minute so that I can set this up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and set up to my test account here, which is the account that I use. We're gonna go ahead and click next. Now, I was already signed in to Intuit. If you're not signed in to Intuit or to QuickBooks, you will have to sign in first. Then it's gonna to want to confirm everything there. We're gonna click connect again. You're standing and it will go ahead and bring everything up here for us so that we have everything set up here. Now a major thing to make sure that we do here is to set up our reconciliation account. The reason we wanna do this is if you're going to take credit card payments, this is the account that those credit card payments gets deposited into. So we always wanna let House Call Pro know, even if you have already in the credit card section, everything like that, put in the bank account information, you need to tell House Call Pro what bank that is in your QuickBooks because it doesn't know that. So make sure that you put that information in right here so that you're setting up that reconciliation account. The other thing that you're wanting to make sure that you do is you click this import data. This is most important for existing QuickBooks online accounts. And the reason that this is important for existing ones is you're already probably gonna have customers, invoices, payments, things like that that exist in your QuickBooks. And if you don't pull those over into House Call, it can result in errors, duplicate customer errors, where customers aren't pushing from House Call into QuickBooks because it finds one that's already exactly the same. Duplicate invoice number errors because you're sending an invoice number that already has that same invoice number in QuickBooks. Payment errors because invoices can't go over. Bank deposit errors because payments can't go over. So not hitting this import data can long-term create a ton of issues, not just in your customers, not just in your invoices, but in the entire integration because it's going to affect your customers. It's going to affect your invoices, your payments, your bank deposits, and even your products and services. So basically the entire integration between House Call Pro and QuickBooks can be affected and impacted by not hitting this button here. Now, you always have the choice not to hit this. Please understand that. But 
if you ever put in a customer in house call that is named exactly the same as a customer in QuickBooks, then it will give you that error. You will have to name customers differently and you could end up with multiple different customers that are very similarly named in QuickBooks. If you're not going to do this, you need to make sure you modify that beginning invoice number in house call so it doesn't interfere with any invoices that you sent in QuickBooks. House call starts from invoice number one. QuickBooks starts from invoice number 1000. So you could easily go for a year, two years, five years, 10 years, depending on the size of your business and not interfere with anything there. But then you'll start interfering because the numbers are now matching up there. So definitely keep that in mind. Your products and services, none of those are gonna come over. You're gonna to have to build your price book from scratch in House Call Pro. So this is very vital here to make sure that you're doing. Also, this is always an area to come to review. Make sure that you're connected to the correct QuickBooks. This Realm ID here is the ID to your QuickBooks account. It'll tell you the subscription status. It'll tell you what type of account it is. Um, it'll tell you emails and addresses, websites, everything like this. But really the most important thing is right down here. Invoices in QBO, linked invoices in House Call Pro. Customers in QBO, linked customers in House Call Pro. This is gonna show you, hey, I've got more customers and more invoices in QuickBooks than I do in House Call. That means that there are unsynced things, things that exist in QuickBooks that haven't come to house call. And if house call, if this number was bigger right here, then it would be vice versa. We have missing invoices. We have missing customers that haven't gone over. So definitely make sure that if you ever have issues, this is a great place to check and diagnose everything. You also have down here, undeposited funds, reconciliation vendor, reconciliation fee account. These, if you ever delete one of these, because all of these are needed to do your credit card deposits. And House Call Pro will find this account and create these for you automatically. But if you ever delete them, after it creates them, it will come up here and say missing. And that will help you understand what is causing your credit card deposits not to go over. So this is definitely a great screen to get a ton of information from. As always, guys, if you have any more questions, issues, whatever, please feel free to reach out to us, call us, email us, and we'll be happy to help you out.